Hey everybody, welcome back to Miner Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, We're the, the Miner Brothers. Brothers. Today we got another store haul. Pat, this ended up being an incredible month. Let's mm -hmm. get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We're getting close to that 5,000 mark, taking us a lot longer than we thought, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, like this video and drop some comments down below. What did you get in the last month? Check us out over on Patreon. Do a lot of cool giveaways over there. Uh, got some other stuff going on too. And Matt, uh, one thing we raffle off, a sample lottery we a do over there. A sample lottery of something um, that we drink. Yep, so this wild turkey uh, is going to be up there. Oh, this is incredible. It is. It is just killer absolutely incredible all right pat start with our kills our kills weren't that crazy this month a lot of it was just some stuff that we sort of had hanging on here and there mm -hmm. four roses single barrel barrel proof um love these things yep also russell's uh single barrel and you know this thing was a killer great. they're always great we also had an old tub because you know what it's $25, it's cheap, it's just, it's a great little thing. Mm -hmm. Heaven Hill, bottled in bond, seven year. I love these things, and now they're everywhere for like 40-ish dollars. Yeah, like, you never find them. Yeah, we, we used to get them from Texas all the time. And Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, this one was batch, I can't even read right now, 167. And that thing was freaking delicious. I'm sad to see it go. Yes. Not gonna lie, Pat. But luckily, we got a bunch more of them. Up we there. did. Yeah, we got a whole bunch more up there, and uh, maybe some more stuff on our way. All right, Matt. Let's see what we got into this month. All right. First off, uh, to replace that four rows, we were able to get another four rows of single barrel barrel strength as well. Happened to get lucky. Was in picking up a different bottle. Dude, yeah, and, that's a lot. Uh, was talking to one of the managers, and they're like, "Yeah." Um, Somebody never picked up one of their bottles. We still have one. Do you want one? I was like, uh, yeah, absolutely. Right. So 100% lucked out there. That was an awesome little pickup. And this is the bottle we were get while I was getting that is the uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A124. Took us forever to find this. Yeah, it did. Like, so we're hopefully going to crack into this one soon and do a review on that right one. We're getting right into it, absolutely. Yep. Uh, while we were there, we also picked up an Eagle Rare as well. Which and is great because we just finished off a whole bunch of ours. Yes, we did. Literally finishing them. Mm -hmm. uh, so Yummy. super excited about having another one of these on the bar to sort of replace so we can actually enjoy. Absolutely. You know, these might have been seen a lot lately. Henry McKenna. I was at, I was at um, Cappy's yep. in Massachusetts the other day. They had 10 of these sitting on the shelf. So, Same thing with Total Wine. You know what? Yep. You know what? Total Wine, though, the, I think Cappy's was like 56. Total Wine was like 70. Guess what? It's not a seventy dollar bottle. Not a seventy dollar bottle. However, at fifty fifty bucks, it is. It's it's a good buy for fifty. It is. I actually I, we we ended up hooking some friends up with some of our other ones that we had of these, and they absolutely loved them. Yeah. And so it's a ten year bottled and bond, and you can't go wrong with ten years bottled and bond. Yeah, but not for seventy bucks. It ain't worth seventy dollars. All right. So we got Matt's favorite. I mean, what what would a yes. month on the channel be without you know getting. Two Old Forester single barrel barrel Yes, strengths. the good thing is these are all different. Like every time we get them, yep. these two are the same. This is 1940 Barrel Society. Yeah, these are both 132.3, Pat. Getting high up on the proof. That's got some heat to it. Too hot Old for Forester me. drinks hot. These things are probably going to be delicious. Way too hot. Um, yeah, I'm going to be giving some samples away to some friends on that one. All right, so to get into this one, Nashville Barrel Pat, Company. We got to thank Finally. Walter, one of our subscribers. This yes. was a store pick down in Connecticut. He ended up buying it. He works just down the street from me, apparently, and was able to hook us up with it. So huge hookup. Super excited. Super thankful for this. Uh, yeah, you can never go wrong uh, with a good old Nashville Barrel, especially because I only had one of these in the bourbon, and I drank it so quick. Yeah. This one I got a bait. Killed it. So we got a bullet rye, just a regular rye, but then we also got the bullet 12 year rye as yeah, well. This thing hit the shelves and people were like jumping on it. Jumping on them. They're like, oh, it's that's the old MGP stuff. People were like on secondary searching for it, paying like a ridiculous amount of money. And I'm like, well, I should probably at least go buy one. Yep. <laughs> so I did. I went and bought one. And once again, it was like 50 bucks. So at $50 at minimum, if it's not delicious, guess what? It's gonna make a delicious old fashioned. Yeah, freezer door old fashioned. All right, we did Old Forester 1924. We did the review. It's right up here. Hint, it's it's a waste of money. $115. Yeah. 
It was no. a waste of my $115. But, Old Forester, I expect more of you. Yeah, I mean, you, However, you love the Pat, blue labels, but you got then, some better stuff. Yes. Old Forester, 117. High Angel Share, Pat. Delicious. The best 117 series I think they've had. Yes, 100%. 100%. Absolutely. Like, if you guys can find these somewhere, don't hesitate. Just buy them. Like, yeah. These are delicious. Yeah. Coming in at 110 proof. It was 110 the flavor proof of in delicious. Is just, yeah, the flavor is killer. Absolutely killer. Absolutely incredible, Pat. All right, Matt. We uh, we got a little horsey, too, going on. Yeah, you know what? Well. If you can get a horsey, you try to get one. Um, you know, we are gonna we're gonna be actually finishing off uh, some of our other blends with a honey finish. Yep. So we need another one to back up on the shelf just to have something to drink. Yeah, absolutely. So it was nice that we were able to get that. And then somehow Pat, we were able to pull off. Uh, I'll tell you. You know what, Walter? Again, down yeah? from Connecticut, he's Ooh. like, "Hey, buddy. By the way, 174. It's on the shelf, just sitting there." And I'm like, "Pull the trigger. Go for it. Go yep. for it. Yes, 100 percent." We normally buy these between 200 and 249. Yep. So be, finding it for 174 Steel. was absolutely great. Steel. And this is another. It's a batch we don't have. This is batch 270. So you know what I noticed about these Joseph Magnus? They they sort of like right. We started in the 60s and they were like impossible. Yeah. They're very small batches. Then all of a sudden it was like batch 160s. You know, or 120s, 160s, 180s. Now it's two. You know, whatever. It was, 270. 270. Like that jumped fast. But you know what? These things are great, and they're yeah. always different, so I, I always end up buying You're literally like, hey, we have enough of them. I think we got maybe 12 up there or something like that. However, they're all different, so they're great. We got to try them out. Nancy the Nose kills it. Cannot say enough about her and this bottle. Mm. Um, needs to say, that's our month. Let us know down below. You guys end up killing us usually with months. Yeah. So let us know down below what you guys got, and hope you guys all have a great day.